Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at simplifying complex expressions. Here we have example number one, which is 4 over x squared minus 1 divided by 8 over x plus 16. So to simplify one of these complex expressions, what you simply want to do is just get the common denominator first, and you're going to multiply that to the top and the bottom of your uh, fraction here. So anytime you have a whole number, just always imagine that as being over 1. So I want to get the GCF of x squared, 1, x, and 1 there. Well, that would just be 1x squared. Then what we do is we multiply the whole top and the whole bottom by x squared. Because what I'm doing when I do that out is I'm multiplying by x squared over x squared. And we know that x squared divided by x squared is just 1. So if I multiply the top and bottom by x squared, I'm just really multiplying by 1 here. All right, so we're going to distribute this through and see what this comes out to be. So, you know what, I'm going to write this all out. It's going to be x squared times 4 over x squared, then x squared times 1, okay, times that 1 here, um, over 1, over, and then on the bottom here, we're going to end up with x squared times 8 over x, plus, and then x squared times 16 over 1. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and simplify this down. x squared divided by x squared is just 1, so that leaves me at 4, minus x squared times 1 over 1 is just 1, so minus x squared, divided by x squared divided by x, well, that just becomes x, so that's 8x, and then plus x squared times 16 is 16x squared. All right, now I want to keep going here. I can simplify this even further. I can factor my numerator and my denominator for this example. So take a look at that first one, 4 minus x squared. That is a dots or difference of two squares um, problem there. So I can factor that part down to 2 minus x times 2 plus x. And then the denominator over here, that 8x plus 16x squared, I can actually factor out a GCF, which I'll take out from that um, an 8x, which will leave me with 1 plus 2x. And that would be the simplified version of this problem here. All right, let's take a look at another example. So example two, well, we got this long thing here. First, what you want to do is if you can factor down any denominator, make sure you do factor down the denominators. So I see this long trinomial here. So I'm going to go ahead and factor that down using my trinomial factoring. And let's rewrite the problem then. So this will be 2x over x plus 4 from the left minus 6 over. Now, if I factor this using uh, that AM method, what adds to 2 and multiplies to negative 8, well, that would simply be x plus 4 times x minus 2. Okay, and then on the bottom, it's just that x mi minus 3 over x minus 2 minus 4 over x plus 4. So just like we did with the last problem, you want to find out what the GCF is. Okay, well, the greatest common factor is going to be x plus 4 times x minus 2. Okay, that's what all these denominators have in common. There's an x plus 4. This one has an x plus 4 and an x minus 2. Here's an x minus 2. Here's an x plus 4. So the common denominator is x plus 4 times x minus 2. So we're going to multiply every single one of those by that common denominator. So x plus 4 times x minus 2. Uh, x plus 4 times x minus 2. x plus 4 times x minus 2. And x plus 4 times x minus 2. Okay, so we're multiplying every single thing on top and bottom by it. So for that first part here, 
x plus 4 over x plus 4. That will just reduce down to 1. Okay, then I'm going to distribute this 2x in. So we get 2x squared minus 4x minus x plus 4 over x plus 4 is 1. x minus 2 over x minus 2 is just 1. So I'm just left with minus 6 on top. Over, and then on the bottom here, well, x minus 2 over x minus 2 just becomes 1. So then I'm left with x plus 4 times x minus 3. So x plus 4 times x minus 3. And then on the right-hand side, x plus 4 over x plus 4 is uh, just 1. So I'm left with minus 4 times x minus 2. So why don't I simplify that down a little bit more here. So x plus 4 times x minus 3. Well, if I FOIL that out, I'll get x squared minus 3x plus 4x. Uh, minus 12, and then distributing that minus sign here through, we'll get negative 4x plus 8, okay, which that will equal then, um, we still have that 2x squared minus 4x minus 6 on top, and then I combine my like terms from the bottom, I have x squared, and then we have a negative 3x, a positive 4x, and a minus 4x, so that would just be a negative 3x. And then we have a negative 12 and a positive 8, so that would just be minus 4. Now I want to factor the top and bottom here. So from the top, I can factor out a 2, and then I'm left with x squared minus 2x minus 3. And then on the bottom, I can use the AM method here. What adds to negative 3 and multiplies to negative 4? Well, that would be x minus 4, x plus 1. And I could still go a little bit further here because I can actually factor this inside part of the numerator. So if I go ahead and break that down, we'll have the 2 outside. And then two numbers that add to negative 2 multiplied in um, negative 3 will get x minus 3 x plus 1 over x minus 4 x plus 1. Oh, okay. Um, that means x plus 1 over x plus 1 will just become 1. So our final answer is just 2 times x minus 3 over x minus 4. And that would be our answer there. Alright, so I hope this helps. If you have any questions, again, feel free to leave them in the comments below.